welcome back to Living Room Sports presented by Armina Stone. We're lucky to be joined by the Pirates' new manager, Derek Shelton. We know he's a good coach, but he also dabbled in television a little bit. Check out this video. From the first swing on with the speed hitter, you're going to be able to tell. If you take a swing where your swing is long and you cast the barrel out, you're going to not only see it, you're going to feel it, and you're going to hear it. The speed hitter, yeah. I, uh, I did a commercial a while ago. The gentleman who owns Momentous Sports, we did a kind of collaboration on one of his devices, and it was fun. I mean, it, it really it was enjoyable. It was, it's a very useful uh, hitting device or hitting tool and would, would, would work very well during a pandemic if you're in your garage or you're in anywhere else where you need to, you need to swing. So, yeah, we've done a little bit. We've done a few commercials. So what do you think of this video, Allison? Is that one of the things that attracted to you when he was a big TV star? <laughs> no, that came later. <laughs> Allie worked on the radio when we met, and and I'm fine when it's back and forth, and live. it's you and I, guys, and it's live, and it's fine. <laughs> if it's a script, not so much. And I, and I have found out that, that Allie is my best producer because my inflection is not good. I end up reading. I end up sounding very monotone. So the coaching during this uh, – during this time has definitely come from, from Allison in terms of how I deal with my, uh, my speaking. Uh, how about some baseball stuff? You went through this entire spring training, looking forward to your first opportunity as a manager, and then this hits. Uh, what did you learn about your team, and what are you doing in the meantime to try to keep up or prepare for right now is an unknown situation? Yeah, well, I think the thing I the, the biggest thing I learned about this group is is how close they are. And I think when you talk to guys in the offseason and you get a job and you, you try to get a feel for your players, you have a general idea. But to watch this group around each other and, and watch the continuity they had, it was it was really kind of special and the way they fed off each other. So that's probably the biggest thing that, that I took out of the group. You know, I'm glad we've had this time to reflect. Now, you know, you're certainly not glad what's going on in the world but I'm, I'm glad we've had this time of reflection and been able to have open and honest conversations about how we can improve going forward. Derek I'd imagine your dad is is one guy that probably misses baseball right now he was down at spring training I saw him there I thought he was going to be one of your coaches he's telling you what to do out there uh, <laughs> what, what's that like for for him? I think my dad more than anybody is ready for baseball to come back and maybe more maybe my mom because my mom's ready for my dad to be out of the house and to have something else to talk about. You know, I'm excited for them to be able to, you know, be in Pittsburgh and be with us and, and to watch games. Allison, I'd imagine it's not easy being a, a baseball wife, right? I mean, the traveling and not seeing your husband all the time, plus the late games. I'd imagine that's difficult. <laughs> Do you miss it? Um, and, and what is it like when you're back in your normal baseball routine for you and your family? It's been great. Our kids, this is the longest they've had their dad home consecutively, like ever in their lives. Um, this has been really, really nice. But also, all three of them, they do miss their accustomed to baseball life. Thankfully, our kids have adjusted very well, and they're used to, you know, we sleep in, we get up with dad, we have some breakfast, he goes to the ballpark, we do our thing during the day, um, and then we get ready, go to the games at night come home, you're up late, sleep in, it's a, it's a routine, but we always are moving and shaking and going somewhere, and my kids, thankfully, they like that, and they're used to that, so um, it, it works for us. Uh, other people may not understand it, but we really get excited about it, and, and we enjoy baseball life. It's, it's fun for us. Derek, are you, are you optimistic that we're going to get baseball back in some form or fashion this year? I think we're going to play and the game's going to be different. It's, you know, if there's no fans or there's rule changes, but like I said last week in, in our regular call, baseball is needed by people. It's needed by the country. It's needed to help us heal. And, and I feel very strongly about that because we're all very passionate about it. Baseball is the one game that regardless of, of anything you played at some point in your life, whether it was on the playground or whether it was little league or whether it was high school, we've all played and we all have an opinion on it. And, and because of that, everyone's passionate about it, whether it's good, bad, or you're mad or you're happy. Everyone has a feeling about it. And I, and I strongly feel that it's going to help bring us back together. It's going to help the country and cities and, you know, everyone kind of unite. So I'm staying optimistic, I, I wake up every, door, every morning thinking we're going to play and I'm excited for when we do play. Derek, are you one of these guys who brings stuff home with you, bring the office home? And if so, 
How important is Allison as far as being a sounding board for you? Well, I, I think, and she can answer this better than, than I can, that I'm getting better about bringing stuff home. I would say early on in our marriage and early on in my coaching career, I was probably really poor at it. And through some guidance, I've, I, I've gotten better at it. But uh, yeah, she, I mean, she's definitely a sounding board because when you come home, you know, the person that you're with and your partner is the person that you can have the most intimate conversations with, whether it's frustration, whether it's a jubilation, however it is, but also you're getting an honest answer back and you're not getting, you're not getting what you want to be, you know, well, at least I'm not, you're not getting what you think you should be told. It, it's very honest. And, you know, I'm fortunate that, that Allie comes from an athletic background and, and she has a feel for what's going on in the game. And I think there's days or nights when she pushes me, you know, to look at things and reflect differently. And then there's nights she just sits there and says, okay. And then the next morning I probably get a, a truer version of what she thinks. Thank you guys. It's fun stuff talking to you and coming up next, it's a segment we call pick a side. It's our first husband, wife, pick a side segment. That's next when we continue with living room sports presented by Armina Stone.